Here I show you an example of a patient case where I imported the scans in Axiocomp. The casts were mounted in an articulator with a face bow and then scanned as they were mounted so they are correctly positioned in regard to the skull. And then also I imported here the Axio Quick Recorder data so I can animate these two jaws with the original patient's movements as recorded with the jaw tracker. In this case it's interesting to see the difference between the movement as the patient moves his jaw alone by himself when I ask him to slide to the right, this is this movement, and also when loaded. In this case I applied some pressure laterally to the jaw to simulate some load like when the patient at night lies in his pillow and is grinding and that is different from this more passive movement. Here you see again the canine and then in cursive also the premolar guiding and now with the load suddenly there are also contacts, dynamic contacts in the posterior area. And also interestingly it is stronger in the incursive movement. So this has to be respected when uh, designing restorations and doing the occlusal adjustments that not just loosely let the patient move left and right and check for excursive contacts but also tell the patient to bite down hard and put some pressure to it because then contacts might arise that otherwise you won't find.